Let's explore some of the benefits of mud play. Many children enjoy playing in the mud because it's just plain fun. Think back to your own childhood. Do you have fond memories of making mud pies or digging in the dirt? We can take advantage of children's intrinsic motivation to get their hands dirty as we foster their learning and development in many important ways through mud play. The possibilities for what children might do with mud are limitless. The open-ended nature of mud allows children to play with it in ways that support their developmental levels and their unique interests. Younger children might simply enjoy the sensory experience of running their fingers through the mud or poking the mud, while older children might engage in more socio-dramatic play where they pretend to serve up creative flavors of mud pies that feature special ingredients such as leaves or pine cones or rocks. Children will work with mud in ways that are just right for them, allowing adults to support and scaffold their development and learning in many different areas. Mud play offers many opportunities for children to follow rules, work together, collaborate, and assist each other. Whether they are working together on a mud sculpture, taking turns, jumping into a mud puddle, or helping each other get cleaned up, they are practicing important social skills. Children will also gain confidence as they assess and take risks, formulate plans, and try out their unique ideas. We often see children naturally exhibiting positive approaches to learning such as curiosity, persistence, creativity, problem solving, self-direction, engagement, and sustained attention as they engage in this type of play. Through mud play, children have multiple opportunities to use their large and small muscles, as well as to practice balance and coordination of movement. In addition, researchers have even found that playing in the mud can be good for both physical and mental health. It has been found to reduce symptoms of allergies and asthma, to improve resistance to disease, to reduce anxiety and stress, and to boost mood thanks to the friendly bacteria found in soil that causes the brain to release serotonin, which is the feel-good hormone. Children will express themselves as they play and communicate about what they're doing. As teachers, we can also introduce new and interesting words as we notice and describe their efforts. Look at how your mud has changed. At first it was really thick, but then you added water and diluted it. Now it's not as thick. That same release of serotonin in the brain that triggers happiness has also been shown to improve cognitive function. How about that? Playing with dirt and mud can even make children smarter. In addition, we can facilitate learning in several content areas as children engage in mud play. They will explore math concepts such as measurement, comparison, and volume as they mix up their mud pies. They will learn about one-to-one -one correspondence as they put just one pine cone into each of their mud muffins. They will learn spatial concepts as they navigate their toy truck over, under, and through the mud trenches that they've created. They will explore science concepts when they make predictions, investigate, and observe changes, such as what happened to our wet mud when it dried overnight. There are opportunities for literacy when we provide children with easy-to-follow recipes that can be laminated and kept in a mud center or a mud kitchen. Children will also do art and use creativity as they paint with mud, use sticks to draw in the mud, create interesting mud sculptures, and participate in imaginative mud play. Children are able to become fully engaged because they are using mud in ways that are interesting to them, while also practicing many important skills and dispositions in an integrated way. Playing with mud is a foundational activity that could lead children to further developing a strong and empathetic connection with the natural environment. Studies show that children's time in nature is rapidly diminishing. Today's youth spend just four to seven minutes outside each day in unstructured outdoor play such as climbing trees, building forts, catching bugs, or playing tag. And research is also showing that children are spending more and more hours each day in front of a screen. There are a variety of ways to explore mud play in an early childhood classroom. Create an outdoor mud center, a designated space for dirt and mud play, adding items such as shovels, small animals or vehicles, and materials for making mud pies.
Smocks and rain boots make cleanup easier, of course. Having an area outdoors set aside for mud play provides a space for children to explore with mud in many ways over time. No two mud centers will look the same because teachers use what they know about their group of children and their particular interests to add materials that will be interesting and meaningful to them. Here you see some ideas of materials that can be added to stimulate the children's play and imagination, but the possibilities are endless. Thank you.